Hey everybody, did you hear the news? Sony backed down on the update to Helldivers 2. So if you've been living under a rock in the gaming sense for the last few days, then you'd likely have heard that the Helldivers 2 community was kind of losing their minds over a major change to the game rolled out only a few days ago. Basically, Sony pulled a Sony and was trying to force players to create a PSN account and link it to their Steam account to play Helldivers 2, a feature that was turned off the first few months of the game's launch by the devs because Sony's server couldn't handle the load they were receiving for creating accounts. The game was just too big of a deal. So a ton of things happened over the course of this very brief weekend-long event. Community managers went into hiding. The ones that didn't mocked the community for active and actively made fun of players for getting so mad about it. Meanwhile, one of the developers stood as essentially the last man standing trying to fix this shit before it sank to the bottom of the obscurity ocean. And sure enough, as of one hour ago, probably closer to two hours once this video is done and uploaded, the update has been pulled by Sony. That's right. They will not be going forward with this change, and Helldivers 2 players can continue to enjoy their game with no third-party account required. Now, I don't have to explain to you that this is an absolute win for all the Helldivers fans that just wanted to enjoy their game without having to jump through all of Sony's hoops. But what's even bigger about this change is mostly that it was Sony that gave up. You see, Sony are a bit bullheaded in terms of listening to their community and it's very rare for them to back down on a decision they make but it i think there's a few key reasons for why this worked one is that it was going to make it impossible for many of the people that purchased the game to play it and two steam's willingness to refund the game seemingly for many people regardless of our count if you didn't know steam requires you to make a re refund request within the first two hours of playing it usually it's very rare to be able to s refund your game after playing it for more than two hours for that first point if you didn't know psn isn't really available everywhere as a matter of fact it's only available in 69 countries countries that sony has deemed as acceptable within their guidelines and it's against their TOS to create an account in countries outside of that acceptable area, and they will ban you. And what's worse is that that ban could extend to your Steam account too, which means that you could lose your whole Steam account just because you wanted to be able to play the game that you spent $40 on. And if this update had rolled out, it essentially would have robbed all of the people that had purchased the game that were outside of those 69 countries because... Up until this announcement was made, the game was not available or was available for purchase in those 69 or outside of those 69 countries. So suddenly, after three months of enjoying this game, anybody outside of those 69 countries was not only going to be out $40, but also unable to play the game that they were fine playing just a day prior. The dev team tried to solve this by, after the announcement, pulling the game from marketplaces in those countries, but, like, that's way too late. Like, way too late, especially for something that they knew was going to happen since six months prior to the game releasing. Uh, on to that second point, it, I feel like Steam and Valve somehow understood that this was a lot more than just a few people throwing a fit over having to log into another service because they were very liberal about supporting the effort in a sort of hands-off kind of way. Players with over 100 plus hours getting approved for refunds following the announcement of the update. So it seems like to me either somebody at Valve was paying attention or maybe it's just a bot that if it receives enough requests for refunds of a specific game that it'll just start approving anything. Who knows? Kind of interesting. It may be a sneaky little bit of goodwill hunting by a valve who knows anyway this was a huge win for gamers and just consumers as a whole for once we were able to scare the big guys upstairs into not stepping on us and ruining the things we love if you continue to abstain from playing hell divers simply because this whole fiasco has put a bad taste in your mouth or maybe just because you hate sony I really wouldn't blame you, but I, for one, am so happy that I'll get to continue to play this game. I was so sad that I thought it was going to die because of something that really didn't have to happen at all. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See ya.